From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Diane Parker. Miller has the latest on the winter weather conditions out there. But first, Highway 212 in southeastern Montana is closed today due to severe winter weather in the area. The storm has Ashland schools shut down and the highway closed between Crow Agency and Alzada. Take a look at this video. This is what the Sheridan, Wyoming area looked like yesterday with a no unnecessary travel advisory on I-90. That has since been lifted as conditions improve. Meanwhile, in western Montana, a Flathead County Sheriff's deputy is recovering after his patrol vehicle was hit by a suspected drunk driver Monday night. According to the Flathead County Sheriff's Office, the crash happened just before midnight on Highway 82 near Summers. The deputy was sitting in his vehicle doing paperwork after making a traffic stop when an SUV slammed into him. The deputy was taken to Logan Health, but he's now at home with minor injuries. No details on the suspect's condition, but they were taken to the hospital. A north central Montana police department is using drones to clear crash scenes much quicker and keep traffic flowing. MTN Sam Hoyle reports. It's one of life's major ires. You're driving along and all of a sudden you see a string of brake lights because of a crash and you curse to yourself because you're going to be late to work. And while I urge you to think about those involved in the crash instead of yourself, Helena Police Department is employing tools to help alleviate some of that stress. By using a drone to diagram crash scenes. We can have the roadway shut down if we need to for a lot less amount of time, which then kind of translates to not being an inconvenience to the public. Um, we can capture the scene from basically a bird's eye view or really any view that we want to in a matter of minutes. Previously, the department used technology that could take hours to diagram a scene. And now with the drone, Police Chief Brett Petty says it's helping him keep officers on patrol by spending less time at crash scenes. It's making the police department more efficient. I, can, I don't have to send as many resources out to a crash scene and for a long period of time uh, while they diagram the scene. They can get out there, get the scene diagram, get the evidence that they need with the drone in this amount of time rather than tying up an intersection. While the drone's main purpose is to help diagramming crashes, it has other uses as well, like assisting on search and rescue missions on Mount Helena or Mount Ascension, or using thermal imaging to assist Helena fire. Detective Schoenfelder did note that some people may be uncomfortable with law enforcement flying drones, but Helena Police Department and other agencies are required to operate them in such a way that does not violate people's rights. In Helena, Sam Hoyle, MTN News. A shooting in Kalispell late Monday night sent two men to the hospital with injuries and an investigation is underway. Kalispell police say the incident happened in South Kalispell shortly before midnight when they received a report of a disturbance with a weapon. No further details are available and police say this is an isolated incident with no risk to the public. New details surrounding one of Wyoming's largest poaching cases ever. Three out-of-state residents are convicted on more than 100 wildlife violations and must now pay the state over $300,000 in fines and restitution. Russell Vick, Robert Underwood, and David Underwood are accused of lying about their addresses and posing as Wyoming residents to hunt there. They killed dozens of animals illegally. The fines are a conclusion of a seven-year investigation spanning four states. Happening in Laurel, environmental activists are going to court trying to halt construction on a new methane plant. The Northern Plains Resource Council held this protest yesterday, accusing the city and county of allowing Northwestern Energy's project to move forward on land zone for agriculture. They're asking a judge to determine who has jurisdiction over the zoning, even as construction continues. It's not the group's only problem with the plant. They fear it could have a negative impact on the environment. This is very close to the city, Laurel. This is very close to my daughter's family's uh, residential areas down by the river. And it's a, it's a, it could be a very dangerous plant, just the, the type of plant that's being built. The City of Laurel Planning Department and Northwestern Energy say they will not comment on pending litigation. The City of Helena is accepting applications for a new city manager. The annual salary range is $160,000 to $195,000, and the position is open after the former manager stepped down in February. Governor Greg Gianforte kicked off day nine of his 12 Days of Giving campaign at Special Olympics of Montana in Great Falls. 
He's donating his salary to 12 nonprofits in Montana this year. In Billings, a volunteer group is stepping up to shovel sidewalks for people in need. This after the city's Snow Buddies program deactivated this winter due to a lack of volunteers. The new group is organized by resident Justin Bowler, and he says anyone can offer to shovel their neighbor's sidewalks or request help via the group's Facebook page. Hopefully next year um, we can pass this back to the city and the city will maintain it from there on with a renewed sense of volunteering and, and people that need help. The Facebook page is called Billings Snow Buddies. And that's a look at the day's top stories. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday so far. Let's talk about those projected highs today. Another day we're going to see those temperatures staying below average. As we get into the weekend, first part of next week could see a real big cool down with those highs and lows. We're talking maybe single digits for highs, if, if not colder, sub-zero temperatures for overnight lows. And we'll talk about this more with the main forecast coming up. But our highs today, mainly in the teens and 20s, pick out a few spots are Capitol Helena, 26, 29 in Missoula, 25 in Haver, 17 in Jordan, as well as Miles City, just a tad bit warmer in Glasgow, sitting at about 18 for the high today, near 30 in Billings, 28 down in Cody, 25 in Sheridan. Over on the eastern side of the state, still a lot of snowfall on the way. Details coming up. The Bozeman Airport is seeing a record number of travelers this year. MTN's Kristen Merkel reports. I'm here at the Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport where two million people have passed through here. Our terminal building from 1950 until uh, 1977. We come every couple of years, like every two to three years. Um, my parents have been coming since like the early 90s, but we've been coming for quite a few years now and we love it here. Caitlin Southward loves to travel through this airport and would not have guessed two million people have also come through here. It's just so pretty. It's like just so chill and relaxed. Um, not a lot of hustle and bustle. The first main terminal has been around since 1977 and the airport has expanded seven times since then. CEO of the airport Brian Springer says there are 10 times as many passengers today than there were 20 years ago and they are expecting those numbers to keep climbing. We'll end the year at about two and a quarter million total passengers going through the airport. Springer believes the increase in travelers has to do with the growth of southwest Montana. You know it's been a, a very long progression of increases. Uh, I think much like the valley uh, you know, we're, we just uh, are representational of everything that's happened here and the continued growth. As the airport continues to become busier, Springer says they are doing several different expansions to keep it running smoothly. We're doing parking expansions, terminal expansions, baggage uh, handling expansions, all to be able to accommodate the increase in passengers. With these expansions come more and more passenger traffic. Our biggest challenges are to keep ahead of it. And for Southward, she doesn't expect her travel plans through this airport to change. We just love Montana and love coming here, so hope to be back again soon. In Belgrade, Kristen Merkel, MTN News. The MTN Noon News continues right after this.